In this demonstration, I'll be showing how you can combine two images in Lightroom into a diptych, or three into a triptych, and so on and so on. It's pretty easy in Lightroom, so let's jump right in. One thing to know at the start is you should probably start with a collection. So maybe make a quick collection or some other kind of collection uh, and throw a bunch of images in there that you might be considering for the diptychs or triptychs or if you already know which images you're going to combine, just put those images into the collection. The great thing about a collection, and here I have a quick collection, is that you can custom sort uh, the thumbnails so you can move things around to sort of see in advance what they're going to look like when they're side by side. So you can make all of these uh, different options. I find that kind of useful. Uh, but you have to have a collection uh, to get started. You can have the film strip up here or not. Uh, I usually keep it open because when we switch to the print module, this view will change. So this all happens in the print module. So I'm going to click on the print module. Now, when we first come here, it looks like a piece of paper. Uh, that's basically because of my previous settings. Uh, but we want to come up here to layout style. In layout style, you have different options for combining images and viewing images as thumbnails. Uh, and you can read them here. They're single image, contact sheet, picture package, or custom package. I used to make my diptychs using a uh, picture package uh, where you tell the system how many rows and columns to use. I found that that was uh, difficult uh, when it came to keeping the lines between the images clean. So now I use custom package. I just think it's a lot easier uh, to do and um, it's just not nearly as much of a challenge. So I select custom package here and you can see that I've got the information here about the page. Uh, this is a, uh, a stand-in for an actual piece of paper. Right now it says US letter. We are in the print module. Uh, I'm not using it to print. Uh, I'm going to actually save a JPEG out of the print module. It's a little confusing, but Lightroom allows you to print to JPEG. I don't know why they have the word print on there, uh, but it really just means save a JPEG. I can change this page uh, paper size by going to page setup, and I can choose any paper size here I want. Now I just usually choose something large as a canvas for my work. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, really what I choose. US legal is a nice option, and I usually always go horizontal or the landscape orientation. If you're stacking things vertically, you can use the other orientation. And if I do that, I get a larger landscape or a larger piece of paper. You can make custom sizes too. If you go into manage custom sizes, you can select any size you want. Well, for now, we have a nice large canvas to work on. And in custom package, uh, it's pretty simple. I can just take an image and toss it up into the canvas and you see that there's a bounding box around it uh, for its cell size. And I can come over here to cells and I can see exactly what size it is, height and width. I have included rotate to fit uh, so it fits in that cell. So this is three inches wide by a couple of inches high. I can expand that simply by pulling one of the corners and you can see it changes uh, the size over here. Now, if I want to make this an exact size, and I do because I want to match the next picture to it, I can just double click in here, highlight the height or the width and plug in a size and hit enter or return. So now it's four inches high. I'm gonna line two, inches, two images side by side so I do want both of them to be the same height. So I kind of know what other image I want in here. Actually, I want to move this one over. This is what I like about uh, the custom layout is you can grab things and move them around with ease. I can just toss another picture in there and I know I want it to be four inches high. So I'll just come in here and I'll change that to four. And now they are side by side. Uh, well, they're almost side by side, but they're the same size. There is an option in here under rulers, grid, and guides that says grid snap, and I have it set to cell. So 
if I move these, they will snap together nicely. Quite good. Um, and if I want to move that apart, I can move it apart to create a little space in there. Or I can turn grid snap off and I can just nudge it any way I want. But for what I'm doing, I'm going to keep grid snap on. And since they're the same height, I can get them to line up perfectly. Now, if I want to make them even bigger, I can simply go in here and change the height to five and see if they both still fit. And they do. And I can snap them together and I can click away and you can see I have a nice diptych. Of course, I could add a third picture here, make them smaller, make a triptych. Uh, I could stack things on top of one another. Uh, you know, there's really no limitation here. Uh, if I were to throw a vertical in here, uh, these two pictures happen to be the same aspect ratio. I could highlight that one and take it out. And I could take this vertical and toss it in there. And again, just change the height to match and snap them together. Simple as that. So I'm going to take that out. And put this back in, change it to five inches high, and snap them together. So far, so good. The next step is to export this, or to print, I'm sorry, it's to print it as a JPEG, which is kind of the same as exporting. So at the very bottom of the side panel, under print job, you'll see at the top of print job, print to, and you have options. Uh, the last time I used this, I chose JPEG file, so that's what the default is coming up. Uh, but if you were really printing it, you would choose your printer at this point. But I'm not printing it. I'm saving a JPEG file. You can check through all these uh, options here uh, that you like, but I'm just going to take the default and say print to file. And now I have to choose where it's going, just like I was exporting it. So I made a folder on my desktop called Demo Diptych. So I'm just going to call this Demo and save it there. So now it's in that folder. So the final step for me is to import the diptych back into Lightroom. So I'll go to my library. So right now the diptych has just been created. It's in a folder on my desktop. But I want to crop out all that extra white space. So I'm going to import it. And I'm going to find the folder I put it in, Demo Diptychs. And I'm going to move it as I import it. You can do whatever you want. And I'll just import this. And now that it's imported and Lightroom knows its location and all that kind of stuff, I can work on this like any other image in Lightroom. So I'm just going to go to the develop module and grab the crop tool and make sure it's not locked. And bring these lines in like so. And make my crop. And that's it. That's how you make a diptych in Lightroom. And you can easily modify this to put three images together or make grids of images or anything you like. Thanks for listening.